Okay, another one. Let's see. Bumper cars. Ooh, this is tricky. Okay, so bumper car. Going east, right? 3.7 meters per second. So I'm going to make to the right east. I'll make it positive as well, right? So 326. Okay, here's bumper car A. 536. And this guy's going 2.4 east. So that's positive, right? And then afterwards, uh, car A is going actually to the west. So car A bounces off. This is A, this is B. Right? A bounces off and it's actually going backwards, right? 1.2 meters per second. So that'll be negative 1.2 meters per second. Still 326 kilograms, right? And then B will probably be trundling along pretty fast, right? And we don't know that, right? So this is A, this is B. Okay, so, so before the collision, this guy's going east. This guy's also going east, right? 326, 536, right? After the collision, A bounces off somehow, right? <coughs> and ends up going backwards. So I'm going to make that a negative 1.2. Um, so now we're set. So equals 326 times positive 3.7 plus 536 times positive 2.4 equals 326 times, oh, whoops, it's not a V, it's a negative 1.2. And then this guy is 536 times V. I tried to put the variable in there, but we know that velocity is negative 1.2. Okay, so here's what we do. We go 326 times 3.7 plus 536 times 2.4. And then I'm going to add this guy to it. I'm going to go plus 326 times 1.2. So bring it on the other side. I'm making it positive, right? And now I have everything that equals 536V, right? So divide by 536. We have 5.38 meters per second. Now let's think about this. The number on my calculator is positive. So the positive means it's east. Why? Because these numbers that were east, right? That guy and that guy, right? I made those positive and west, I made negative, right? That's west, right? So the fact that it comes out positive doesn't mean it's in any direction. It means that it is actually to the east.